Matt has had various podiums through 2015, um, from 2015 to 2019, including a uh, third in Spartans Pittsburgh Super in 2018, and a first in the New Jersey Bone Frog that same year, first in Spartans New Jersey Ultra Beast in 2017, and third in New Jersey Super that same year. Matt's upcoming A races are Spartans Palmerton Super and West Virginia Beast, and of course Spartan World Championship in Tahoe. We're just certainly going to make that. Uh, right now, we're prepping for his New Jersey Beast. It's an it's we're training for it like it's an A race um, to tune up and personalize our peaking strategy uh, for Matt. And so you may have seen Matt on the course or on social media. Uh, if you didn't blink as he was galloping past you in his white and black face paint. Uh, He's known on social media as Zebra Man Runs. Moving on to strategies and preparation for a beast. So first off, just for you personally, what are you thinking about strategy or preparation-wise going into this beast? And this could be like full race strategy. This could be about pacing. This could be about fuel, water, gear, anything like that. Gotcha. Uh, I think I like to travel light, you know, mm -hmm. as light as I can. Uh, and that also depends on, you know, what my ex uh, expected finish time would be. I'm hoping it's around two, two ten to two twenty. That would be really excellent. You now the the you know the gate. I think the winning time last year was around two twenty three from uh, Ryan Caston, who's killing it this year. Yeah. Uh, but as far as gear goes, I have just like one soft flask and in, in, in a bait ultra pack, uh, and you know they have water throughout the course. So mm -hmm. for me, if you're running quickly, you don't have so much in your gut that it could be, yeah. so to speak. Uh, calorie wise, I'm a hammer nutrition guy. I've been for years, uh, so I'll have like maybe a equivalent of 500 calories in one of those soft flasks too. Uh -huh. So uh, pretty much it. Um, as far as how often goes, are you doing that fuel? What I'm sorry. How often are you doing that fuel? Taking that fuel? Every 40 minutes or so. Okay. I about 120 to 150 calories, but I'm a light guy. You know, mm -hmm. if you're a bigger person, bigger gal, bigger guy, you're going to need some more fuel and potentially more. More hydration uh, mm -hmm. on course, and once again, that's more based on the individual. Yeah. But uh, for me, pretty much just innovate running shoes, ultra pack, one soft glass of about 16 ounces of water, uh, some electrolytes from Hammer, and then maybe about 500 calories worth of fuel. And sure. I'm good to go. Great, great. And uh, for advice for newcomers, so people doing their first beast, so we just went over your strategies and gear and stuff. What would you tell a newcomer preparing for a beast? So it would be the beast distance that you want to know for a newbie. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it around. Uh, if you are a new person to OCR and start <laughs> to a beast, you should not do a beast. I yeah. did that in 2014. I got my butt handed to me. Yeah. But at the same time, those are the coolest memories. Uh -huh. You know, I remember like all the, the really fun ones like, oh, hey, I'm running this race really well. Look, yeah. my pay strategy paid off and whatever. Mostly it's, okay, I, I went to the suck uh -huh. and not the suck better. Yeah. And, you know, also fun to have, you know, friends involved, too. Uh, but let's let's take, like, the super to beast range, just to make it relevant. Yeah. I think number one is make sure you don't go out fast. Mm -hmm. You know, really, really be conservative on your first go-around because once you reach that, you know, your lactate threshold, whatever you want to call it, your anaerobic capacity, and you're stuck up there. Mm -hmm. Let's don't bring enough fuel and you start to bonk. That's when things get really bad. And normally you can kind of delay that process if you just take the time on the inclines, you know, really pick your way on the flats, focus on the obstacles, but don't try to, you know, bash through them because if you fail and do burpees, that's more energy expended. Mm -hmm. uh, and also I think a big part of the advice is, uh, you know, this goes without saying, but a good pair of shoes that actually has some grip to it. I don't care if you go VJs, I don't care if you go Innovates, uh, people love their Ultra King Mountains, fine, anything that's not like Nike flats, or even sliding all over the place. One. It doesn't look cool when you're sliding down the course as <laughs> you run it. And then two, if you fall in your face, it's going to hurt yourself. Yeah. Not, and then third uh, would be like buddy up. Mm -hmm. I think the open class, uh, I really like the open class. You know, I started there. I think a lot of these guys have not running elite. But that's where you can really like see other parts of the community and different, you know, different fitness levels helping each other through the course. So like find somebody at your similar pacing, buddy up. Um, maybe help some other people on course, talk to people. That makes the entire experience a lot better. Mm -hmm. Lastly, do your burpees. Um, actually do 30 of them if you screw up because mm -hmm. earn the medal. Uh, I took a buddy through the course. Uh, it was Virginia, actually, when they did winter green. Mm -hmm. It took us five hours to get through that thing. Oh, wow. I don't know if you saw my athletes. It was like 
hey, you know, okay, we're doing 10th place. We're doing first. <laughs> yeah. and second, and it was like 3,470. <laughs> that was our race together, and I yeah. scored on it, and I forced him like, to do everything. And uh-huh. later, that I hated you in the moment, uh-huh. but that made the experience that much better. And yeah. then it's on a sport, too. Uh-huh. So do 30, earn your medal. Great, great. Yeah, so we said uh, don't go out too fast. So think about your pacing. Don't start too fast or the rest of the race will suck. Uh, yeah. Have some good shoes, some good gear. Make sure you can uh, actually get a uh, good foothold on the course. Follow the buddy system. And the last one was do your burpees, people. Or cheat it. If you're involved in the obstacle course, racing community, endurance community, whatever, take the lessons you learn while being an athlete and then try to give back in the capacity you can. You know, whether that's, you know, taking a newbie through the course or providing advice online from being a veteran or, you know, even just giving your best concept or, you know, let's say you're on course, you see someone really struggling out there or potentially might be injuring themselves, you know, offer up some support, give them some fuel, that kind of thing. Because I think it's more of a community process, not necessarily an individualistic process. I mean, there's sure development. But, you know, take the development, the lessons you learn by going through, quote, being a Spartan or whatever OCR you do, and then actually try to help your community, your family members, that kind of thing, just be a better human. That's about it. Absolutely. Okay, so we know we can find you on Instagram, at Zebraman Runs. Anywhere else people should find you online? Uh, you can check out the Strava, the same thing. That's like that, you know, the endurance community kind of yeah. thing that a lot of people have. So the same thing, Zebraman Runs. And then on Facebook, uh, Matt Liptak, and you'll be able to see me. I got the 2017 kind of hoodie down. I'm holding a, a beer. <laughs> Guys, it's pretty fine. Uh, but really, contact me. I like talking shop about everything involving endurance, fitness, strength training, rehabilitation. Um, I just want to be a good ambassador, and I'm glad to just share the knowledge I've accrued over the years. Yeah, and uh, I would say take Matt up on that. He is a very, very smart guy. He's helped me with physical therapy and rehab stuff on my ankle. I broke my ankle a few years ago. And, I mean, he's a wealth of knowledge. So I'll reach out to him. He's a really nice guy. Uh, And we look forward to seeing your performances this year, Matt. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. If you want to train smarter like the athletes in these interviews, if you want predictable progress and a predictable training and competition environment, head on over to leaderboardfit.com for a free seven-day trial. You'll begin by creating an athletic profile and uploading all of your races for the season. We will give you programming to make sure that you're constantly progressing and meeting your goals and review your workout results and your race results and continuously update your programming as we learn more about you and your response to training.